Our I-team has spent more than a year looking into claims of mismanagement at the St. Louis tow lot. The latest discovery, the city is getting millions of dollars from the sale of impounded vehicles. Investigative reporter PJ Randawa found some of that money should have gone back to the people who lost their cars. In the past two years, Larry Lakovich has had two very different experiences with the St. Louis City tow lot. Last month, when his truck broke down on the side of the highway, City Tow picked it up. Getting it back was easy. Here she just said, I just need your ID. In 2020, getting his stolen truck out of City Tow proved impossible. We had all kinds of paperwork, and it wasn't enough. Even though he was a victim of a crime, they refused to release Larry's Ford F-150. Well, they already had it designated to be auctioned off. A title search showed the truck was sold to a salvage yard in Illinois. Larry says his truck was worth seven to ten thousand dollars. Now, who in their right mind would crush a two thousand that that truck? And if it went to an auction, goes to the highest bidder, somebody would have bought that truck if it was actually auctioned off at the auction block. Somebody, nobody would have walked away from a vehicle like that. Two hundred, two twenty-five. Turns out Larry and others who've had their vehicles auctioned for unpaid fees are entitled under Missouri's unclaimed property law to get any surplus money from the sale. I know that that's uh, part of state law that's required. You are supposed to notify them by, um, by letter. A group of aldermen investigating the tow lot discovered in October that hasn't been happening. These people don't get notified that their vehicle has been auctioned and there is a, a possible surplus from that auction that they could come and pick up? Yep. Uh, when we send our letters out, we just say that we have your car. This is the car we have with then gear and that information. And we state to come get it. Or if not, in 30 days, it will be auctioned. And that sounds like a policy we probably need to change. I mean, they've no they notify them that they, their vehicle's there. They notify them that it'll be auctioned off in 30 days. Former tow lot commissioner James Mundy says the tow lot doesn't have a policy in place to return people's money. Why not? Um, probably because they just don't have to. I mean, nobody's nobody said anything. The St. Louis Comptroller's office confirmed for the I team in the past five years, there have been no claims to get that money. Since car owners aren't told, all that money goes back to the city and it's a lot. According to the city's revenue estimates, the sale of impounded cars generated an estimated $5.9 million since fiscal year 2019. And despite the ongoing investigation, sales records provided to the I-Team raise even more questions about where the money from the tow lot is going. At 2010 Audi Q5, I mean, no price on that. I mean, anybody else could just write in the other information. Who got the money for that? The city actually got paid for these vehicles, uh, I, I, which is kind of, I mean, I don't know how they could if they don't have a price tag on these vehicles. Unanswered questions. City and state auditors are now trying to answer. Just be careful. Don't let your truck get towed, your vehicle towed there. But once they get their hands on the tow lot, you're in trouble. The city's investigation is expected to take several more months. Some city leaders involved believe criminal charges may result. For the I-Team, PJ Randawa, Five on Your Side. If you have a tip for the Five on Your Side I-Team, call us at 314-444-5231 or email fiveonyourside at ksdk.com. All calls and correspondence will be kept confidential.